Oh, good morning, guys. Uh, I completely forgot to film this morning because it just took a lot longer than I wanted and I just needed to get into work. But anyways, it's now like, I think it's, yeah, it's quarter to seven. So I've been working for a bit, which is going well. And then, because it's my day off today at uni, that means I've got a little bit of free time today. And then Reese is coming over later. So usually I think I sh I'll stop uh, working at like half past nine and then, then I can go to Germany and then come back and then I have a little bit of free time. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day today. It looks like it's gonna be fantastic weather as well. Okay, I actually meant to update you guys, but, okay, I'm actually meant to update you guys, but uh, I finished working a while ago. Um, got like three, three more hours done. And then now I've just come back from gym. I did like a, a leg and ab day. So that was good, good to get it out of the way. I can actually feel the, the leg day getting a little bit easier now, like more enjoyable, especially with Smith machine squats. It's much better than normal squats for me at least. But anyways, now I'm going to go to Seattle and get myself a little coffee, sit there for a bit because I've got quite a lot of free time now, which is fantastic. Okay, coffee done. Now I'm just going to sit here. I've got a little bit of personal work I'm going to do. Just on some things that I'm not going to keep to public right now but you'll, you'll find out soon enough. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then Reese is gonna come over in about an hour or so, I think, and then we'll most likely end up going for coffee somewhere, perhaps at the hotel, because um, he needs some help with his sales and, and stuff like that. And I'm gonna try my best to help him out. And then once I'm back from that, at about three-ish, I'm gonna do more work until about six. Then at six, it's dinner, reading time. Hey. There's no point in me telling you what I'm going to do. You guys already know what I'm going to do. It's literally the same stuff every day. Wake up, cold shower, meditate, get into work, go to university, go to gym, come back, work, and then supper, reading, more work, and then sleep. It's literally the same stuff every day. But, yeah. Up there. Look, there's one in the tree. Do you see it? Oh, there. Recently, I came for another walk in the forest and we heard baboons, so they're coming to check it out. Why are they doing this? Where are they? There's a pine cone there. Throwing... Ah. No. <laughs> it's gonna drop a pine cone on my yeah. head. <laughs> Bro, I'm actually nervous about a pine cone hitting me in the <laughs> head. I feel, I feel like they're loading up. This guy's asserting dominance. You gonna take a dump? <laughs> He's not gonna take a dump. <laughs> Bro, they're getting ready for war. Bruh. Oh shit, they're coming down quickly now. No, they're fine. They're vibing. Yeah, I agree. It's fine. Just calm down, bro. Look at that one all the way. What? There. Oh shit. Uh... I'm not sure if I got that on video, but recently I got charged by a baboon. <laughs> so he just ran like hell down the hill away from it. <laughs> Luckily he got away. Now they're just sitting there eating. I'm not going close again. What if they charge us? Actually, I'm just, I'm just coping, guys. No, bro knows me, yeah. Yeah, he does. Back to us, he knows me, yeah. Bug one. Bogwan G. <laughs> Understood that. <laughs> Come on, Reese. It looks so much less steep on camera. Oh my god. <laughs> show, show them your arm. Reese ran into a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Wrapped around the tree. I wonder what their baboons are doing now. Now you can see the view of Cape Town. <laughs> Lovely Cape Town there from here. There we are. Yeah, I wanted to get you falling over. Thanks, man. <laughs> Two brothers, eh? For the record, we have absolutely no idea where we are. I'm just assuming Ooh. this is the way back. It's not bad, come on. I'm just assuming that this is the way back. I'm just getting a weird gut feeling this is the way to go. So let's find out. Okay, my apologies. I've been meaning to update you guys today, but 
I've gotten busy, you know, life happens. Um, so obviously you guys saw that Reese came over, we went, um, as soon as he came, we just went, we had a little chat and then we went over to Constantia Village and had um, a lunch there. And we came back, I dived into some work. So far I've gotten two calls booked, but I'm waiting on like four people to send their information through. So yeah, let's hope they speed up because I've got an hour left of work. I am working an hour longer today um, just because I really just want to get the calls booked in. Um, but yeah, I worked in the afternoon and then as you guys know, we went to the forest and got chased by baboons. That was genuinely, <laughs> that was so funny. And always moments like that, I remember for the rest of my life when you get like the adrenaline pumping and stuff. And it's just how you bond with your friends. And I think it's actually something that's important to have because I know a lot of people like myself included in the past is when you're on this whole journey, you get really stuck in your bubble. I've never spoken on this before, but it is so good to experience some things in life like that that just kind of make you fully present and aware in the moment and get the adrenaline pumping. It's just something I'm I'm not going to forget. And it was very, very funny. Um, and it's definitely something good for guys. It's like a masculine thing to go out into the forest and mess around with the monkeys or baboons or whatever. But yeah, after that, came back, had supper, instantly got into work. Um, booked most of my calls now in this little period between 8 and 11 p.m. It is 10 p.m. now. Um, so yeah, and also I didn't get around to recording my react, like replying to your guys' comments just because we are walking in the forest at that time. But I'll get around to that tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a very, very hectic day because I'm at university from 9 till 3.30 p.m. And I still got to fit the shift in and I'm going to have an hour less sleep. So it's going to be a challenge tomorrow. But, you know, we welcome challenges. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll probably wrap this video up now as well. Um, actually, you know what? No, no, no. I'll update you guys in an hour once I've um, seen if I can get these calls booked in. All right, sweet. There we go. Another hour done. Well, last hour done. End of the day with four calls booked. <laughs> Let's go. That's pretty good. That's four calls booked in the space of three hours. I'm very, very happy with that. And now I just need to get some sleep and prepare for the long, long day tomorrow. Let me just write this on my little scoreboard here. Four. Nice. So it's been Monday, two, Tuesday, three, Wednesday, four. It seems to be going up five tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I'll wrap this up now and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the AM. Go like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram. That would be helpful. Cheers.